Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Right down there is a wheelbarrow. How many times have you ever seen a YouTube video where you're going to be shown some modification to a wheelbarrow and what is the best wheelbarrow to buy? I'm going to show you this one. Let's go over it a little bit and I'll show you some of the modifications I've already done. And I've got one new one today where I'm going to replace the front tire on it. So let's take a look at this wheelbarrow and why this is the best wheelbarrow for you to purchase. Well, there it is right there. That is the best wheelbarrow design that you can buy. It's got three wheels and uh, I am going to replace the wheels with this particular wheel here, which is a run flat. I'm going to show you that in a minute. But of course, over the years when you buy a, a wheelbarrow, well, the wheelbarrow tires themselves, they can change over time. And as you can see on this one here, I've had to Put some spacers in well you can see that wheelbarrow tires on the end of its life there eh so this one here has a tube in it and i'm going to replace it and put a tubeless one in that is a run flat so there's no air going in it okay so as you can see i've put these wheels on here and i had to fabricate how to actually do it and i like solid rubber tires on the back here they've worked out terrific for me now, if you're wondering what this mechanism right here is that I have all wired up, this design of wheelbarrow, if you like the particular design of having these standoffs actually touch the ground so the wheelbarrow is not movable, because if you're in a particular situation where you have a load in your wheelbarrow, you don't want it rolling down a hill or something like that, right? Well, I really don't have very many occurrences like that, so I just wired it up. So if you want, with this particular design, all you do is you lift the handles up and this bar will go up here and drop these down so they fall below the wheels. Now this won't happen now because I put much bigger wheels on. But uh, that's the design right there. Now I'm going to take you over to the bench and I'm going to show you these uh, run flat tires I picked up. I picked up two of these. And it's got all the plastic in here and everything. And you know, when I read this, no bearings required. Threaded axle insert for use with. Now I'm not too sure what that actually means. If you take a look at that, two slash five inch bolt. I'm not too sure, but I'm going with it. I got two of these babies. I don't know why I got two, but uh, yeah, I like to buy stuff in twos. And we're going to mount this on. I'm going to take this plastic off and show you this new style of run flat tire. Like there's no air in this. And I'm going to show you this type of bearing they have in there. Let's take a look at that next. Well, let's start off right here. Here is the uh, axle for it. And if we take a look on the inside here, this is the first time I've ever seen this before of you. Take a look at the roller bearings in there. Now usually what you get is you get a bearing on the outside, one on the here and one on the underside. But if you check this out, now I thought that was pretty cool, or what? And I mean, I really don't see, there's no like uh, grease fitting or lubrication or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I'm not even too sure if you're supposed to lubricate this. But I'm going to throw that in there, and we're going to see if we can get it to fit on here. And uh, you can see how this here is attached. And we're going to see if we can make this fit on here. So let's do that next. Let's take a look and see what we've got so far. I've got this stub axle put in here, and it's got a nut, I'm sorry, a bolt on this end, and a bolt on this end. And as you can see, it's got like this plastic hub part. And you know, I don't like this plastic cheesy kind of stuff, tell you the truth myself. And as you can see up here, this was the axle. And it went through there with the uh, bearing on either side. And I had some washers on both sides. So if we take a look at this wheel, yeah, it's got to fit in here. 
And if you take a look there, I'm not too sure how I'm going to rig this up. But I'll tell you right off the bat, I'm not into this cheesy thing here. But I think this is also used to keep the dirt and everything else out of the uh, roller bearings in there. So I may have to see if I can somehow use that. But I took a look in my might bin there and I found a couple of old axles I had. And these here are actually just a little too small and flop around inside of this uh, this bearing here. You know, you don't want it to be flopping around too much, right? And that's enough flop there. So let me see what I can come up with that will actually make this fit in here. So you can see how this went on here. And what am I going to rig up for that? Well, stay tuned. Well, as you can see, I cut up some pieces and I cut these two pieces up, just rough cuts. I mean, come on, nobody's going to see this, right? And uh, the best thing I could figure out was this orientation right here. So what I'm going to do is you could see how this will fit in between here. And of course, we'll have this one here bolted up to here. And this will fit in between. And going to have to drill a hole here, and drill a hole on this one here, and just bolt it in from the far side. Now the only thing I have to do is I have to get the orientation of these holes just right and have everything square. So I'll bring you back when I got that done and let's see how she looks. Well let's take a look and see how far I got. I've been out here puttering around for a couple hours and you could see this is what I've got. And there's the axle in there. You can see I've got to trim this off here. I've got to trim this off here. I've got all the bolts in here. And these three nuts are down here. And that's pretty well it. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring you back when I got this all installed. And i got a little bit of grinding to do. But I'm not going to paint this right now. I'll be able to take this apart in the springtime. And give it a good paint outside. But, uh... Let's put this together. Let's see how she looks. Well, take a look at that right there. It's all done. Doesn't look pretty, guys, but she's functional. This thing just turns so slick. And it's all bolted in. I mean, it's very simple. Spend a couple hours out in the shop, and there you go, right? And uh, there's some of the tools. And I thought about using these pieces of uh, tubing and flat stock and, you know, that was real handy, cutting all the pieces up. And that's it right there. Completely maintenance free now. There's no more air in any tires and that's the way I like it. And I'm going to show you why this wheelbarrow is the best design. That if you see one of these, I suggest pick one of these up because it's the best design out there. Let's take a look. Okay, so here's the benefits of the three-wheeled wheelbarrow. You know, it is so easy to operate. You're not, you know, you can still travel along back and forth like this. But you, you know what? It's very easy to operate still. And, you know, when you have to travel a little bit of a distance with some concrete in here or something, you're not trying to balance it. And it's got this nice bar here, you know, for going over top of obstacles or that kind of stuff. And I really like this particular style of wheelbarrow just for the benefits of that and there's the uh, the wheel here and being being non air filled 
this is going to come in real handy. Now I think the other one that I did pick up, I'm going to retrofit it on that as well. I have one up at my camp. It's only a uh, one wheeled wheelbarrow, but you know what? I like this tire. I like the way the bearing set up in it is, and uh, I'm going to repaint it in the springtime. So, what do you think? Well, I think it's a terrific addition to the wheelbarrow, and I'll be using this a lot. And uh, you know what? When it comes to uh, kind of uh, modifying something, it's not as hard as you think if you just take your time. And of course, you have, so have to have some hand tools. And this particular wheelbarrow here, you know what? This is already 20 years old, but I look after it. I take care of it and, uh, you know, wash it out all the time and oil it. So, you know what? Your tools are only as good as you take care of them, right? So thanks for joining me here today. I hope you like this little bit of a retrofit on the wheelbarrow. I think it's the best design out there. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. Come back again. and Let's have some more fun. Cheers.